podcast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, the haze is back as well and temperatures staying up there. And with that atmospheric haze, our rain chances being suppressed. Thanks to that Saharan dust that's moved in. That's what's causing the hazy skies. Not too terribly hazy today. The leading edge of it moving in today. It's going to be a little bit hazier tomorrow through Thursday. More than likely Friday as well before showers and storms kick that dust out of here. So we'll talk more about that right now. In fact, what we are watching is this upper level low that's actually in the northeast. There's another disturbance in the Midwest and uh, together they're going to spawn a, a little bit of an upper level low that's going to drop southward toward the Gulf of Mexico as we go toward the latter part of the week and that's going to allow for enhanced rain chances and it's going to be under Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, maybe even Tuesday. So above normal rain chances if you're going to the beaches next week, uh, can't promise good weather at all. Uh, but there will be a very good chance of daytime showers and storms and usually by the beach those storms migrate inland, but it's going to be stormier than normal for sure. Now as we take a look at what's going on across our part of the world, generally fair skies, few showers up towards central Louisiana, and this is essentially the boundary line of where we're seeing the dust reach so far up through central Louisiana. And we open it on up, show you that dust. Now yesterday the dust plume was roughly about here at this time, so that's made it all the way up through uh, the Highway 190 quarter, and you can see it's thicker farther to the south and that's all going to be feeding northward over the next couple of days. Not as thick as the stuff we saw late last week, but enough to make for hazy skies and maybe a pretty sunset or two over the next couple of evenings because I'm not expecting much cloud cover. So be on the lookout for a more orange and redder sunset as we head over the next several nights. High pressure anchored over the eastern Gulf of Mexico and at mid layers. That's what's shuttling that dust up northward in the tropics. We go all the way out over to the African coast and pretty much crickets for the most part. Good looking tropical wave, but kind of suppressed down to the south. But overall, the National Hurricane Center currently not monitoring anything for development is that and that is the good news, although we may have a development down the road, but not here. So as we take a look at the European model, the moisture again, when you're in the shade of blue, you're going to be dry and see uh, below normal rain chances. But we go into Friday. There's that upper broad upper level trough showing up. So that means enhanced rain chances by Friday afternoon. It continues on and off through Saturday. Notice the Florida beaches, Gulf Shores could be on the wet side. And this pattern continues Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday. And then eventually it looks like drier air moving in. Meanwhile, the remnants of that upper level system, the European wants to develop it once it moves out into the Atlantic, but no threat to our part of the world. And by the middle part to the latter part of the following week, we should be drying out once again. And we might have dust returning at that time as well. Near term, though, it's about temperatures, lower 90s. These are the heat indices approaching. 100 tomorrow afternoon, a little bit hotter as we head into your Thursday and look out for Friday. The heat index numbers here. This is the European model numbers uh, getting up there to the close to the point where we might need a heat advisory criteria or meet that. Uh, but we're going to see storms come Friday afternoon that will help cool us off and help us out there. So another sultry night ahead. A nice tropical breeze during the early evening hours that lasts up until about 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Then the wind dies down 79 at best the low 92 93 the high tomorrow with a nice afternoon breeze and as we head through the next five days there you see the rain chances perking up and it's a broad brush 60 percent will go friday through about next tuesday so we're entering a wet period uh the weekend won't be a washout but do plan on storms anytime this weekend through early next week jim and that's the way it goes holiday weekend better rain chances but at least it won't be as hot for the 4th of July. All right.